So here we have the x-axis in the hypercube evolution frame. After the last video I showed trying to use the Igus dry bearings or bushings, um, I've gone back just to straight uh, LM10UU and LM8UU linear bearings. So um, the motion is nice and smooth, um, just a little bit noisy, uh, but that's uh, at least it works. One thing I would also like to point out, I gave you a wrong dimension in one of the previous videos about the, uh, about the dual Z-axis frame. The dimension between these two, uh, these two uh, members is actually 100 millimetres, not the 130 millimetres that I, that I said previously. It's actually 130 millimetres from the top of this to the top of this. So sorry about that, but um, so I've had to adjust my frame. So now I'll go on to uh, actually putting the belts into the uh, into the hypercube evolution and uh, this is best done with uh, rolling the, uh, the frame over onto its front and so they can get good access to the back of the X carriage. So here we have the first belt threaded through and this is uh, basically what you'll want to end up with, two tails of belt there. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me because I'm reusing the, uh, the belt for uh, the, uh, the original belt for the frame. Uh, when you're doing this yourself you'll have much more of a tail here that you'll be able to manipulate with. So I'm going to curse and swear a little bit trying to uh, use these short tails to get, uh, get this in underneath the clamps. So now for, uh, for the second, uh, second belt. So second belt's in and now, uh, now it's basically time to, uh, to basically mount the, uh, the belt retaining clamps on the back of there and then tension up the belts. So belts are in and tensioned. Now the beauty with using the four tensioners is that you can actually vary the well adjust each side of the belt so that you can ensure that the uh, the X carriage is nice and square to the Y axis. So when you run this up and down, you should be able to keep it so that the um, that the so when you run the X carriage up and down, the it should be nice and square and meet both sides at the same point. And also at the bottom here as well. 